Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is the Gundam Battle Operation 2 update for March the 25th, and the Spring Festival is on, and that means a lot of things. Uh, first up, the Quinn Mantha is now in the Battle Simulator. We're going to take a look at that before we're done. This uh, week's mobile suit is, in fact, the J-Gun. It is a two-star uh, two uh, general. I'm sure it's a general. It was described in, in the update as being a general, so we'll see. But it should be. There's a special limited step-up supply drop with uh, it's fairly good MS at half price in the first step. Um, free 10-pull uh, supply drop for uh, every uh, uh, once a week for the next four weeks. Uh, new and returning soldiers uh, container rates back up again. And let's see, the general updates, which should mean a major overhaul to raids. Um, anything else through here? No, nothing new. That's the bulk of the new. Well, actually, there is one more thing, which I don't think there was a banner for there, but I saw when I logged in. There is a new limited mission, and you get the Jim Sniper Custom uh, Shimoda Squad version, which should be a really interesting support. I'll be interested to see. It is space only? That's weird. That was a ground use uh, unit in GBO1. Now I'm confused. Which, maybe, uh, yeah, I'm very curious to see what that is. Um, Space Frame Level 2 is up, which gives you 400 hit points and 5 mo <laughs> points of thruster. Excuse me. You There's also a new uh, high-grade Zebra Stripe uh, camo. A uh, new Zacrello uh, decal. And some, uh, some DP, some uh, mechanic tickets. So, yeah, good stuff, and you have to win battles, uh, play space battles and ground battles, uh, get an assist score of 20,000, personal score of 60,000, 24 rival, which is, that's going to be the long, uh, the longest one. And, yeah, so, doesn't look too bad, but yeah, for some reason the Shimoda is now a, uh, is now space only, and that is weird. Okay, but that's that. Let's go over and uh, take a look at what's new. I hope I remember to edit the coughs out of this. Um, okay, we've got the level 3 Dom Barrage and the level 2 Gan Eos uh, up in the DP store today. Uh, level 2 Gan Eos is 124,000 DP. That's not bad. It's fun to use. Uh, weapons for same are here. Uh, no new custom parts, it looks like. At least not that I don't already have. New to the recycle counter, we've got... The level 4 G3, which is a 600 pointer, the Zeta Gundam is now in the uh, in the recycle ticket store for 360 uh, tickets. So, if you don't have the Zeta yet, it is within your grasp. So, good luck getting the tickets together. That free 10 spin uh, won't hurt anything when it comes up. Hopefully, it's available now. Level 5 Gelgug S is up for uh, 325. It's also a 600 point machine, as is the Zeong. Okay, yeah, so they're moving a lot there's a lot of 600 and other relatively high cost stuff in the uh recycle ticket store today um weapons materials. there are weapons level 5 gundam hammers here standard gundam beam rifle uh gundam beam rifle with super napalm yeah some good stuff so worth grabbing if you can custom parts um doesn't look like anything new because i've got them all uh no new markings no new patterns no new clothing etc okay so let's start with the special supply drop and do that. And we will, uh, you know, anything new I get, I'll take a look at, you know, hoping for the J-Gun, we'll see. But, uh, Regal Beam Spear Level 3, that's new. Uh, Fat Uncle already, and Goof Custom Level 3, had that forever. Um, Jim Ground Type Level 4, had that. Uh, another Fat Uncle, and... Uh, Zamel Missile Launcher Level 3. Another Fat Uncle. Zamel Missile Launcher Level 3. Um, Level 4 Enhanced Heat Hawk. Had that forever and a day. Uh, Twin Lancer, which is for the Gaz. Uh, one of the Gazes. Uh, Bishop's Guns, I believe. Uh, Jim Cannon Space Type. And a Gal resulting in... Level 4 Blue Destiny Unit 3, which I already had, so... And that's the other version of GBO2 updating itself. I keep both, so in case an update is uh, 
not appetizing to the US version of the game again, as has happened a couple of times, I can still get the update filmed and out. Uh, that's interesting. 14. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's always been 14. Brain not good. Um, yeah, so that's for the Gaz L and R. You can use it in place of its beam saber, or actually in the place of the lance. So, that could be interesting to do. Okay, so that's done. We're going to do the boosted supply drop first, and then we're going to go ahead and do the, uh, and uh, roll on the Jagan banner, and, uh, unless, you know, something ridiculous happens and we get it here. But, okay, first up. High Gog Beam Cannon. Uh, Marasai Beam Saber. Uh, Palace Athena Level 3 Beam Gun. I have so much coughing deaded out of this. Um, Gim Camoth Machine Gun. Uh, level 1 Nemo 3, which I've had for a while. Uh, Rick DS Beam Saber Level 2. Uh, Collision Level 4. Gabfly Beam Saber Level 2, and a Gal containing Level 3 Zero Shiki. Well, that's new. Uh, and a repeat Nemo 3, which is, I'm getting guessing it's the guaranteed drop I got out of this. But hey, 650.0 Shiki? Sure, I'll mess with that. Okay, and one last thing. We will roll on the uh, Jagan's banner and see if we can Jagan. All right, let's see what we get. It's not only editing coughing, it's trying to hold the coughs until obvious edit points. Rocket Bazooka level 3. Fat Uncle Containing. Level 3 Dryson. Okay, sure. Fat Uncle Containing. Uh, GPO4 Rifle level 3. I might have the GPO4 to go with that on this account. Uh, Hombrebee Beam Saber had it. Another Fat Uncle Containing. Zeong guns at level 3. I'm pretty sure I don't have that Zeong. Fat Uncle containing GPO3S at level 3, which I already had. Fat Uncle containing level 1 Marasai. Gao containing level 1 Zissa. Uh, 180 mil cannon. Triple rocket launcher. And truck containing Londo Bell uh, logo. It's not bad. That's that's like one of the best uh, rolls I've ever had. That is not uh, anything I actually wanted or needed for recording. But oh well, I'm not gonna be too much of a whiner about this stuff because it's all fairly high quality stuff and a good pile of recycle tickets besides. So yeah, no J gun for me yet. But the knight is young, the the banner is young. So we will hope. Meanwhile, however, uh, we are going to go to the battle simulator. I'm going to I'm going to fight the Quinn Mantha, and I think I haven't decided what I'm going to fight it in yet. A giant dancing through space. Um, let's go to the sortie. Uh, okay, so I can get three tokens for uh, beating it, I can, and you can get level three uh, beam armor and level two thruster enhancement, both of which I have. But even so, not a bad thing. Um, okay, we are going to try it. And see what has to be done. Um, I am going to decline ranking. I would like to use my very best. And that will be... I think I'm going to start trying it with the Faz. Which has a lot of good firepower. It's just... hmm. I'm hesitant on that because it has no melee resistance. And the Quinmantha seems to make a lot of use of melee. So that being the case... Um, actually, let's go with the Keyblade because it has... I have it set up for 45 uh, melee defense, so that is a good number. We will, And I will be able to hit it from a good distance quite a bit. Okay, and I've got, uh, appropriately enough, I've got the Gaz LNR as my wingman. So, yeah, I am, uh, am going to do that. And let's see, I don't know if I had this in any stupid colors or not. So, Or possibly request colors. It, d it depends what I was in the mood for, what anybody asked for. We'll, we'll see if it's anything weird. But, okay. All right, nope, just standard cubily type colors. So, probably going to start like any other one. We uh, start by uh, locking on and killing some things here. And it's that Zaki is nearly dead. It is dead. I got the assist. Got to kill four enemies and have some fun. Displays. Beams. Okay. All right, that's done. Thank you, Funnels. 
funnels for you, and I'll attack you while the funnels do the work. Okay, yeah, it's just all Zaku 3s here. Okay, there's the follow funnels. That's what I wanted. Got it. Okay. Now for the Quinmantha, which I'm not... Uh, God, that's been translated so many different ways. Queen Manta, Qu uh, Quin Mantha. I'm almost certain that the voiceover for the original Gundam Battle, uh, Battle Assault said Quin Manser. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's that thing. It is that large, scary thing. Oh, and it's got Dovin Wolves. Neat. And it's already hit me really, really hard. And that's with my ridiculous melee defense that it did that. So it's time to uh, just hit it uh, for some stun, hopefully, because, yeah, it is not. Uh, it does not have any weak spots until, uh, until it is stunned. So funnels for you. And can I get to your backpack without dying? Well, I hit it. I have not built up a lot of stun damage here, but I have hit it. Yeah, it seems to take a fair amount of damage at least, and I'm dead, so do I, so... I've already done about a fifth of its health. I may not get this on the first try. That's fine. But I'd like to. I'm just not gonna... I have I'm no guarantees that I will make it, so... Let's see, 1790, beams, beams... One-shotted me! With 45 melee defense, it one-shotted me. Wow. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a thing, so... Beams for you, and beams for you, and more beams for you. Also some beams for you. A couple of beams, and some beams. Ah, good, I did hit the backpack. Funnels, and it is just stalking me with melee. I'm pretty sure I can't uh, counter-tackle that. Just call it a hunch that it will not counter-tackle very well. Uh, trying to get away. I'm not getting away. I'm getting killed. Yeah, I'm not going to get under the three-minute buzzer, but we're just going to go in, uh, this one time and... See how it goes, but you're you're seeing mostly what it uh, does. Well, it also has large beams, so good for it, I guess. And, yep, it's coming after me. And its biggest uh, thing is that its helpers like to uh, stun me just in time for me to not even attempt to counter-tackle it. So that is really annoying. Shoot you. Funnel you. Funnel you. And shoot you some more. Yeah, not a chance I get the... Uh, I get the uh, three minute mark on this, but I will worry about that another time. Well, I missed a beam, that's nice. Yep, stunned, and here it comes. And tackle you! Well, I think I managed to avoid some damage with that, but it, it obviously can't be countered because, well, it's the size of a neighborhood. So, yeah, let's see. Um, fire that. Roll. Fire. And kill it. Yep, we are at the three minute mark now. We have not managed to stun it once. We uh, have taken it down to two-thirds of its health. Honestly, I probably should have just brought the Faz, because if it doesn't make a difference, if it's going to kill me or mostly kill me every time... Yeah, it doesn't matter if I'm uh, if I'm actually going to uh, have any melee defense or not. So, yeah, so next time I'll just bring in the Faz, because so then I can be constantly hitting it with everything. And sit down. Let's see. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, tackle it, but I did at least survive, which is about all you can uh, hope for, apparently. And got a couple of shots in. And, okay. Let's see, I really would like to be able to see it. It can, okay, it can aim pretty far down, because it's not constrained by the uh, user interface. It can aim straight down very effectively. So, I'm about to die. Yep. Okay, yeah, this thing is annoying. Um, but it's a boss in this game, so that's pretty much what I expected. If I had three people, it would not be a thing. I have one people, so... And that people is me, of course, yet, so... And, yep, I, uh, I got stunned just as I was about to counter it, and I can't counter it. Now I'm betting that my uh, wingmen will probably stun it while I'm not in any kind of position to uh, take advantage. Let's see, it hit me with its funnels. Boss immobilized attack now. Get out of my way, you jerk. Okay, so... It's... Whatever the weak point is, it's not really showing me, so... I'm just gonna shoot it. Okay, I overheated my guns. Would you just die? There we go. So, yeah. As, you know... My problem with the bosses in this and all of the challenge modes is that... You know, since tokens represent real money, I am so focused on getting that three bucks worth of tokens that by the time I'm 
done doing the challenges. I have not had any fun, and I'm done wanting to look at them. So, yeah, not great. But that's just me. If you're a little bit more laid back about this, you will probably not have the same uh, experience. But I did not mean to uh, go back into this. So, back to the briefing room. But that is the Gundam Battle Operation 2 update for this week. Good luck to everyone who tries to get the Jagan. I, I would like it myself. I think we all would. So, you know, hope everybody who wants it can get it. It's a two-star, so odds are okay. Though I never got last week's two-star, so. But, no, the week before is the one I didn't get. This last week I did. But, yeah. Either way, you know, if I'm going to complain, complain about the right things. But, anyway, that is going to do it. So, good luck to all. And until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!